In this code sample, we first have the script element that refers the Paper.js library, a simple file with code in JavaScript. We make sure uh, is available for our code. Then we make sure that we have a canvas element where the graphics will take place, and then a script element with code, code in JavaScript that use the paper.js. Each path is represented using an object we create by calling new path. You can imagine that path is some sort of a constructor we use in order to create an object. A path variable in this code sample is assigned with a reference for a new object that represents a path. We can configure that path and specify, for instance, the color, the stroke color. So let's make it red. Each point is represented using an object we create by calling new point and passing over the x and y arguments. Then, if we invoke move to function on the path object, passing over the reference for the point object, we actually start the path. And then, if, for example, we call the line to um, method, we actually create a line between start and another point. Here, you can see that we can pass over uh, the same point plus, uh, plus an array that actually represents the differences in x and y. If we check the code, this is the output. Now, the coordinate starts on the top left corner. Uh, as the more we move to the right, x goes up. The lower we go, y goes up. So, actually we ask for a line that goes from a point its x coordinate is 200 to a point its x um, coordinate is 200 plus 100, which means 300. So this is 200, and this is here is uh, 300. And we also ask y to become smaller. So the line starts at a point where the y coordinate is 200, and then um, the second point, its uh, y coordinate is 160, so that's why we get a line that goes up. Here, this is something like 200, and here it is 160.